Good day, YouTube. One MJ here, and welcome back. All right, Saturday sort of lunchtime here in Australia. Markets up ever so slightly, so we're just under two point seven trillion dollars, I think, and now we're up just over two point seven trillion around that getting close to 2.8 trillion not too far off so up half a percent we were down uh, 0.1 of a percent yesterday so again a lot of sort of sideways action but that's why a lot of the altcoins uh, are kind of doing well is because the bigger players they're really just traveling sideways ethereum you know sort of around the 40 $400 mark thereabouts and Bitcoin around the kind of 60 to $62,000 mark again just ranging so the big guys aren't doing too much but again some of these little plays I mean look at some of the moves they're doing they're doing quite well so I mean look at the dominance it just continues to go down so people are jumping into the altcoins at the moment uh, this was up around 45% and now we're under 42% you know how much lower will we go who knows less volume obviously it's the weekend that's to be expected uh, we're all waiting to see what happens with the uh, ethereum options that ended I think it was 540 million dollars worth of ethereum options or something like that so will we see some price explosion tomorrow we'll do a lot more uh, I will do a lot more chart stuff I should say and gas price is sitting around ten dollars uh, again, that's a very basic transaction. Just, you know, if you can actually get a uh, ETH transaction for $10, you're doing quite well. They're generally a whole lot more expensive than that. Again, ETH 2.0, I just can't wait for it to happen. Uh, it won't come soon enough. All right, as we can see, a bit of a mixed pag. I mean, Shiba Inu bounced right back. Uh, you know up 25% today that's possibly going to be uh, one of the biggest moves in the top 100 I haven't had a look so we'll find out together what's done well what's the biggest mover in the last 24 hours there we go Shiba Inu right up there crypto.com uh, making a nice move not too far off uh, Decentraland again these are all coins that were basically down yesterday and like I said they don't go up every day they go up then they'll come down for a day or two then they'll go up then they'll come down for a day or two. That's basically the way it works. It's not exactly like that. It's not up one day, down the next. But you know what I mean. If you've been around the space, you'll understand it. These could be green again tomorrow with some similar numbers, but then the day after, maybe they lose about you know a third to two thirds of whatever the gains they made in the last sort of two days before that if they were going up. That's sort of how it works. Up and lose you know a third to two thirds thereabouts uh, once it finally does retrace. And again, that's a very rough estimate, never financial advice. That is just a rough guide uh, only. But yeah, look, again, nice gains. And this is from a market that's only up 0.5%. But that's got to tell you about the liquidity of a lot of these coins as well. Because Bitcoin's not really moving. And there's coins here with 20, 15% gains. But the entire marketplace is only up half a percent. So really, the big, big money is in the really big coins. Shiba Inu is not a big coin. It's a big mover. It's not a big coin. Now, again, out of the 10,000 coins, it's a big coin. But in the, you know, sort of top 100, it's not like in the top uh, top tier. Really, the top tier is Bitcoin and Ethereum. Outside of that, you start to get a whole lot smaller. Again, I'm not trying to say SHIB's not a big coin. It's turned into quite a big coin. But really, it's when Bitcoin and Ethereum make the big moves that this uh, really starts to uh, put multipliers on it. So again, nice gains. I mean, look, even Safe Moon's up. Uh, Kadena, sorry, <laughs> losing my uh, ability to speak there. Kadena's up. Binance Coin, Sell Token. And again, literally yesterday, a majority of these coins that are up today were the ones that were down yesterday. All right, so what hasn't performed then in the last 24 hours? Top 100. There we go, OMG's down, Olympus Dow is down, XE Cash, Sushi, FTM, AVAX, Theta, Luna. Look, very, very minor losses, you know, except for OMG Network, but I'm going to say they probably pumped pretty hard a few days before, and that's the same as these other coins. Again, you know, 4%, uh, considering probably where this coin was a week ago. I don't think anyone's too worried. Theta starting to make a move, which is really nice. Uh, not today, obviously down, but it was traveling sideways for a while. So good that it's had some price appreciation. And then again, things are just cooling off. A lot of this is just simply the traders. Uh, you know, they're, they're trading, you know, 10, 15 percent. That's what they're looking for. The day traders and things like that were investors. This is when you want to sort of come in and buy when things are down. 
provided you've done some research and worked out that it's not a you know a bear market then you really want to wait to see a see a bottoming pattern but again if you've been in this space and you're watching my program you'll know what i mean you're buying the red you're selling the green that's how it works that's how you make money if you can't do that you're not going to make money but you're not always going to buy at the best price it could continue to go down it could continue to go up just like you may not sell may not sell at the best price that is really there's definitely skill in it but there's a whole lot of luck going into buying the bottom and selling the top and that's just the truth of it all right let's go on today's going to be a quick video there's not a whole lot going but here's the bitcoin price but the interesting thing is this uh sort of flag that bitcoin has built so we can see it's just bouncing around and if you're using ta and i use a little bit of it on occasions uh, i'm not a massive ta person but i do like it this is what they call like a pennant flag uh, and so basically you start the line from down here to the top because we can see this pennant formation now if we were to move this we're going to grab oh sorry got to let go of that this is this line that i'm trying to grab i'll go back and fix that all right what we want to do is move this and put it to round about there look at the price that bitcoin could be heading to eighty-eight thousand. that is very very interesting now do i think it's going to do it straight away absolutely not but it's and it is a rough guide so it could be up and down and up and down before it gets to here but we are looking at around about eighty eight thousand dollars for bitcoin in the sometime near future considering that pennant flag there so very interesting i'll leave that there i won't move it so 80 just under eighty eight thousand dollars for bitcoin but again you know you can move it ever so slightly and try and put it up there actually does take it to eighty eight thousand so oh no eighty there we go eighty eight thousand sort of two hundred thereabouts so we'll have to keep a look out for that. Is Bitcoin actually going to do this? All right, couple of stories. Number one, so uh, BZX uh, hacked again. They got hacked twice last year. Uh, they're still in business though, and they've been hacked again for a reported 55 million. Now it hasn't been confirmed just yet, but what uh, has happened has BZX has come out and said that they can cover the hack uh, if it is actually real. So again concerning you know bcx has been around for a while you know you'd think that their code is audited but even audited code sometimes you know they miss stuff or there's just things that obviously sometimes they'll say this is a minor area and so it won't be something that they'll go ahead and hack and it turns out that it was misread and actually was a major area for a hack but anyway bz ed just lost 55 million so uh, not very good for anyone who has anything to do uh, with BZX. They're probably going to be down a little bit. But again, BZX has the Dow anyway, has come out and said that they are going to uh, be able to cover the $55 million worth of losses. But So that means really they're going to lose. Uh, but eventually, really, that always kind of gets passed on in some way, shape or form, particularly with just the bad news that will most likely lower the price. All right, this is a story that I've really uh, caught my attention. So Anegra has migrated its digitized utility tokens from Ethereum over to Polygon. So it gotten off L1 because the fees are just way too high uh, and gone to uh, an L2 and Polygon. Again, they just go from strength to strength to strength. Now their price hasn't been moving too much and we're going to get into that. It's looking very, very interesting. But we'll go down and have a bit more of a read. So Anegra Group, which is a commodities trading firm based out of Malaysia, they have a net value of $28 billion. Not million, billion. And they have migrated its equity-tied EGX security tokens to the Polygon Matic blockchain from Ethereum. Again, because the L1 is just too expensive. Ethereum, the gas fees are horrendous. And that's for the most basic of transactions. You do something big and complicated, you can pay a whole stack. And so they've got on onto Matic, which is super cheap. Now, Anegra, back in 2019, tokenized 100% of its equity, uh, enabling shareholders to digitally exercise uh, their dividend voting and governance rights. This is the way of the future. I think almost everything's going to do this. All the big stocks and things are going to become tokenized. They're going to do the exact same kind of thing. This is just one of the groups that has, you know, one of the firms that has really you know been one of the first to do this and where did they go ethereum number one and then polygon number two ethereum is still the biggest player yes the you know fees and all that on l1 really are 
you know, it's for the big players, but even the big players don't want to pay that kind of money. So they've moved over to uh, Polygon. I see Polygon having a massive future. Again, there is talk that Polygon's even going to be looking at becoming cross-chain compatible and things like that, as opposed to Ethereum has their EVM, and so everyone has to use the EVM to become Ethereum compatible. I think Polygon are going to look to simply be cross-chain compatible in the future. And look, they already do have the optimistic roll-ups and things like that. Or it might be ZK roll-ups. I think it's optimistic, but roll-ups anyway. Uh, so L2 stuff in their, in their program and... The price is what intrigues me the most. So this this story I really like. Again, you know, big companies coming to Polygon. Now let's have a look at the price. So again, remember it's still under the Matic ticker. They used to be Matic uh, originally, and then they moved to Polygon. This is Polygon Matic against Ethereum. Sideways. Had the big explosion. Sideways. Had a bit of a jump and then went straight up. Now look what we have. Look at all this sideways movement. My gut feeling says this is big, big players trying to keep this price down. Now I don't have any other information. There's no you know, secret sources they say or any inside information, but Polygon have been making so many big partnerships and we just had a look at another one where a company has tokenized uh, their equity and put it all onto Ethereum and now moved it onto Polygon. For something to travel sideways for so long, again, this has been traveling sideways, you know, you can almost say since sort of, not quite back there because it went up, but let's say sort of around about here anyway. So what's that, the 15th of May? That is months and months and months of sideways action from a very good project in the middle of a bull market. So it hasn't completely dumped off. If this had dumped way down to here and was traveling sideways, yeah, I'd say the project is dead. It has just came down to some old support resistance levels and been traveling sideways for months. My gut feeling is big players have been trying to get as much of this as they possibly can and eventually this is going to roar. Will it do something like this again and then something like this again? Who knows? But I just get the feeling like it's looking amazing against Ethereum. We can't just base this off Ethereum though, right? We've got to compare it to a few different things. All right, let's have a look at it against the dollar. This is where it made its boom, and we can say this is the average kind of price here. Matic has been traveling sideways, again, just in its dollar value for quite some time. Had a peak, had a trough, but again, really, you can say the kind of average sort of price for a while has been about $1.48. And it's at about $1.90 now. So it's only just above that price. But you run this line kind of through the middle of it. It looks like it could be undervalued. And again, this just looks like accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. No guarantees in life. I'm never offering you financial advice. But I think Polygon is a really, really good project. And I think it is going to do fantastically well into the future. Nothing is guaranteed though. Just remember that. But at the moment... ETH looks like accumulation. The dollar value sort of looks like accumulation. What about Bitcoin? Look at this. Looks like accumulation. Excuse me, again, going on for ages. There's a whole lot of other, you know, platforms and programs and things that are pumping, and yet Polygon is just traveling sideways. Now, not simply sideways, like something that's dead. It's still got peaks and troughs and things like that, and you gotta remember, this one is against Bitcoin, so Bitcoin has sort of been slowly progressing upwards. So that means the dollar value has been slightly going up. It's sort of just keeping pace. Sometimes it's outpacing it. Sometimes it's getting outpaced by Bitcoin. And then again, same on the Ethereum. Ethereum's been going up. So that means Matic has, or Polygon, has been traveling sideways with Ethereum. So it's dollar value slowing uh, slowly going up as well. It's just not really gaining on Ethereum or Bitcoin at the moment. But... It looks like it has started to bounce here. And now this is just its range right here. It's almost perfect with this up a little bit higher, but again, it just looks good. So my gut feeling is that Polygon is going to absolutely rock it sometime. I just can't tell you when. And again, it's never financial advice. It's just my gut feeling at the moment. This is a coin that I'm definitely keeping an eye on and I haven't done any DCAing for a while, but well, I see this on 
starting to think maybe I need to buy some more because the market is anywhere but overheated yet. And, you know, again, most people are expecting Bitcoin to go to at least 100,000. Now, as I've said in other videos, I don't think it's going to happen exactly when people say it is. And I think we probably get up to around 80 ish, somewhere there, have a hefty correction, and then maybe go back up from there. Could also be a bull trap. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah, bull trap. We'll have to wait and see. But at the moment, I'm really liking what I see on the Matic chart, and I might start to put some more money into it because the market just doesn't look overheated yet. It doesn't even look remotely close based on on chain data. So, Polygon great project and the charts are just looking like maybe something big is getting ready to come all right that's it from me stay safe be kind to one another hopefully you're all on that game train and i'll see you next time